so here's Nick Fuentes. <laughs> now, Bradley's preemptively giggling about this clip. <laughs> I, uh, well, let's watch the clip. And, and, and I'll tell you, well, let's watch the clip. And then, and then we'll talk about an interesting email I received. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Some time ago, actually. We're going to go there. Mm, I'm not going to talk specifically about it, but. Because we don't air dirty laundry at this school. Right, we don't air dirty laundry. <laughs> what part of what you know about me would make you think that I would want to be propositioned by a woman? <laughs> much less, much less, in the super chats, no less. What part of you, or what part of me, would make you think that I would want a girl to say, uh, you know, to, to, to ask me out on a date? Oh, wait. I'm not going to be asked out. I will do the asking out. Oh. Oh, it's that. You know, people look at me and they oh, think, pause like, it. it's interesting. Oh, he's pause like. It. Pause it. That's, that's interesting. Because I was like, huh. I was interpreting that differently. I, I yeah, I thought I was like, like is he is he is he owning up to maybe some feelings he has inside? I don't know. That's a, that's right? a question. It's like it sounded like he was about to reveal something. Yeah. About himself. And um and what it ultimately was that now he wants to be doing the asking. Does he say to 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 whom? This is an interesting dynamic that's going to the on. woman in the super chat who asked him out because and it's very offensive to him that <laughs> that a woman would would express her uh, desires. It has to only come from the man. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, pop up. I'm not going to be asked out. I will do the asking out. You know, people look at me and they think like, oh, he's like this Alex P. Keaton, like goody two shoes, wholesome chungus 10,000. It's like, nah, I'm a little bit more complicated than like wanting a girl in a sundress to just lay my suits out and I wear a fedora and smoke a pipe and go, hey, hey, honey, we're LARPing like it's the 1950s. Like, that's just so insulting. I have a little bit, it's called depth, okay? It's called depth. I have a little bit more depth to my character than just I'm some kind of like sitcom character. I'm sort of playing an important role in world history here, and the idea that, you know, some some silly girl online, like I'm gonna be in direct messages just sort of being like funny and flirty and fun. It's just, it's not, it's not me. It's just not gonna happen. Like I said, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of a scenario where it would be acceptable because so, some people say, oh, well, that means you're gay. And it's like, well, no, because it's it's not that it's just it's more the setting there because there's a few scenarios where it would be acceptable like i said you know if it was a girl who was working for me you know like hitler in that movie downfall when he's like interviewing secretaries like that that's a setting where it like makes a little bit more sense what <laughs> because <laughs> Well, um, well, I might need to go watch Downfall again and figure out what's I, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> sure I'm glad he's, he's identifying about. with Hitler there. Um, I think, yeah, you can maybe read into that too. Now, look, we get emails from time to time from mm -hmm. people. Um, and uh, sometimes you get emails from people who purport to know other people who go to great lengths to establish their knowledge of the other person. Like, I don't know, here's a note I got from this person. Here's an example of their handwriting that is publicly available. Here's the picture of the note. I had this type of uh, relationship or that type of relationship with somebody. Mm. And, and then you get these emails and you're like, what, what am I going to do with this? And... And you think, ah, uh, probably nothing. But maybe you wait and see, like, do I deploy this email and uh, this, this information and stuff like this at a time like maybe where if this guy is being particularly hypocritical on certain issues? I don't think that in this instance um, we've achieved that. Also, just to catch people up when he said Alex P. Keaton, that is a character from the TV show. I'm looking at my notes. Family Ties. Wait, are you is, serious? Uh, 1982 to 1989. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't see that. I had to look it that up. So, that's, 
people used to mock me for being Alex B. Keaton back in high school. Yeah, it's Michael J. Fox, and hmm. and he always wore sweater vests. I think they got replaced by Doogie Howser. No, 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 no. That's a different. That's a different uh, idea. The thing is, Alex B. Keaton was um, a right winger, oh. and um, and that's but but even back then, like it's like Tim Heidecker's doing that. Now. People, yes, a little bit of that. But it was also like the, his idea. What the idea was that his parents were hippies. And they were sort of like now turning into like they're post hippies and he was rebelling against them and was like a big fan of Reagan. And um, now the funny part is like in high school, like none of the nobody was like even that conscious of politics right. enough to like to like say like that. you like Was this just like a flip on all in the family? I mean, sort of. Sort of, a little bit. I mean, there was a little bit of quality of that. And um, so, why did, yeah, what was it about you that they. Just that I wore sweater vests. Oh. Like, cause I, like, I dressed like that and I was like, it was more like, ner for them, it was like, you're a nerd. So, wait, what are we just, so no, nothing's being deployed? No, that was it. Okay. That was it. I just uh, found that interesting. Interesting to watch uh, people, uh, you know, talk around stuff. Why he can't, yeah, why. Yeah. Um, let's go to I mean, you start uh, rambling about downfall. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Something might be going on. Such specific yeah. settings for him to to yeah. to be able to have a relationship with a woman. <laughs>